Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we have the OPOP Burst where we're going to be finding out first details on Angeo's kit seeing as how he has been confirmed to be our newest character for the month of October. Now JP is currently in maintenance right now so we have no idea as to who is going to be getting a rework for the month of November but that will be for a separate video whenever translations get released for what is going to be shown in this OPOP video and the infiltration report letting us know about any changes or the events that are going to be dropping and of course the biggest thing which is going to be the reworks for November so stay tuned that video will probably go live in the next couple of hours because uh, usually when it comes to a brand new OPOP -OP burst it does take a good minute and then once the report comes out it, it, it does take some time for translations to come out but uh, uh, yeah let's go ahead and jump into it let's not stall anymore or oh, not stall but you go down. oh nice they're dressed up Buster! Hey, they didn't clap! <laughs> Alright. I think the other host is also dressed up. He's a freaking. <laughs> Bro, that's the strangest pumpkin I ever seen. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got going on. They're showing off their outfits. That's nice. Looking nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, cool deal. Oh, we can see his face now. <laughs> I can't take it seriously with that. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and move up to what's going to be happening at, for the start of November. So, on, and by the way, we are going to be using my translator app. Not the best thing in the world, but I mean, it's something, right? Okay, so we have the first event, which is going to be the Act 4, Chapter 8, Part 1, which is going to be Angeo's release. Then we have the Memorial Battle Support Campaign that's going to be popping up. And then we have Part 2 for Chapter 8, which is going to be uh, appearing at a later date. So we're going to learn what's going to be popping up for, uh, well, we already know for Chapter 1 and then for uh, Chapter 2. So, right. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. So, Angeo from Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core is going to be our newest character. And now we are going to take a peek at his kit. Ooh, but it looks like we got a little something, something. Hold on. Let's see what we got going on. Ah, okay. So it looks like he has an overhead. Okay. Oh, nice. He is. He has his Buster Sword uh, on, on his uh, on his back, but he uh, he is also wielding uh, another sword as well, which is what Angel does. So. This right here is talking about his overhead called Dream Dreams and Pride. So it's a value corresponding to your maximum HP. When using a specific ability is accumulated, there is an upper limit. When receiving an HP attack, the value accumulated in the special effect Dreams and Pride will also decrease by the amount of HP damage received. Oh, wow. What an interesting overhead. Okay. So the value... So the value is based on the maximum uh, HP. It doesn't say if it's uh, if it's uh, what do you call it? If it's party wide or if it's going to be for just Angeo. My guess it. My guess is it's going to be just about him, and that's about it. And then if he takes damage, then the overhead value is going to decrease as well. Now the following effect applies to all allies. When attacking HP, the HP damage that will be added according to the value accumulated in the special effect Dream Trap. Huh. Okay. When attacking HP, uh, the HP damage that will be added according to the value accumulated in the special effect Dreams and Pry. Oh, Dreams and Pry, excuse me. Uh, f uh, phone got a little confused on the translations. Okay. So... My guess is that this is potentially additional damage that players, will, or excuse me, not players, but uh, uh, characters on the team with Angeo in the team will be able to take advantage. So if, from what I'm understanding, it, see, it sounds like depending on the value on the overhead will be the additional 
HP damage that you are going to be dealing. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, then the damage might be a little bit low, especially if Angeo is going to be taking damage and that value gets reduced. Then, um, well, no, because you also got to add in, um, what do you call it? Uh, the crystal stat increases from the uh, from the crystal rooms. Uh, you also got to add in uh, other characters that may provide H3 overflow. Uh, I, we don't know if Angeo does provide H3 overflow. If he does, then that'll help out. That'll, that'll definitely help out the value on his overhead. So, I think I think a, a, a couple things I, I feel like will apply to that overhead. But I think we can probably... We, no, we for sure can optimize it to the best of our ability. So that uh, it can be very high. Especially if everybody's going to be taking advantage of that additional damage. But we'll get a confirmation once uh, the translations come out for, for this video. Uh, yeah, for this uh, OPOP verse. So, first thing we're going to be looking at is going to be his, uh, uh, what do you call this? His uh, 15 CP. Uh, the ability cut with a single sword accumulates a value according to your maximum HP into the special effect Dreams and Pride and releases a short range physical brave attack plus a single target HP attack on a single target and it gives self the strengthening effect definition of humanity. Okay. Which I'm assuming oh, they're going to let us know what this buff does. <clears throat> yes, okay. So this right here, uh, let's see my phone updates, there we go. So the definition of humanity, the following effects to himself, additional attack shockwave is activated after the attack. Ah, nice, so he, he gets a uh, follow up in his own turn. Uh, it also gives him an attack up increase and max brave up increase. Now the additional attack uh, fires a short range physical brave attack plus a single target HP attack on a single target. Okay, so it's a single target follow-up. Alright. Uh, his skill 2, Heavy Rush, accumulates a value corresponding to your maximum HP in a special effect, Dreams and Pride. It releases a short-range physical brave attack plus a single, uh, single HP attack on the single target. HP damage to other target to HP damage to targets other than ta okay, so it looks like it sounds like splash damage. Uh, it blows away the target when hit. So, launching? Question mark? His skill 2 might be launching, but I'm not a 1000% sure. And it also grants the, the buff from his skill 1 definition of humanity. Uh, let's go over to his EX. So his EX ability, uh, Soldier's Pride, accumulates a value corresponding to your maximum HP uh, in the special effect. Releases the break state of all enemies and then unleashes a short range... Physical Brave Attack plus a full HP attack on all enemies. A grants the strengthening effect, Soldier First Class quality to himself. Uh, and it looks like said buff. Uh, let's see here. Come on, phone, work with me. So the buff increases attack power, increases Brave damage given, increase the amount of Brave take. Okay, so Stolen Brave up. And adds the Stolen Brave beyond the maximum Brave upper limit increase. Okay. Now for his LD. Uh, his LD is called Angel Wings. So this accumulates a value corresponding to his overhead and releases a short range physical Brave attack plus a total HP attack on the entire body. Oh, the entire body? My phone is doing some weird stuff. Uh, grants a strengthening effect, soaring self wings. The number of uses of the ability would not be consumed during the next. A okay, so free ability use after using his LD. Okay. Let's see. Now, this right here, this other buff, if my phone wants to work with me here. Uh, so, the following effect from this buff, if my phone wants to stop acting up, please. Thank you. So when breaking the target, a value corresponding to your maximum HP is accumulated in the special... Okay. So, oh, so whenever you break the target, the value corresponding to your max HP is accumulated in the special effect... Oh, interesting. So it sounds like even breaking will increase the value on the overhead? Maybe? Hmm. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Uh, the buff also gives him a max HP increase, max brave up, and uh, increase in the HP damage given. Interesting. 
Hmm, okay. Okay, interesting. So if it is true that if he does break the target that increases the value on his overhead, then that'll be another way to be able to increase it and it's not just focus on HP, but I could be wrong on that. Again, we're waiting on translations to get an accurate, uh, an accurate reading on that. Now his uh, FR ability, single mindedness. Uh, accumulates a value to uh, a co corresponding to his max uh, to his max HP on his overhead. It releases the break state of all enemies and then unleashes a short range physical brave attack plus a full HP attack to all enemies. The following effect applies to all allies: uh, increases the HP damage bonus whenever you use a melee ability, and increases the HP damage bonus. Whenever the action order passes, when a special effect are applied to E. Okay, so uh, melee damage and have an overhead active, if I'm if I'm understanding it correctly. So who is his uh, partner? Oh, Dorgon. Interesting. I kind of see why. Kind of. Actually, no, I, I think I have a pretty good feeling as to what it is. Yeah, I think I have a pretty strong hunch as to why, because, like, uh, it, I, I'm going to throw it out there. Normally, I don't, but I am uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and throw it out there. Uh, because uh, Bart's, uh, uh, excuse me, because uh, Dorgon, I, I'm, a, I'm going to assume, seeing as how I've not played 5, uh, he taught uh, how he taught bots to fight. I'm gonna assume that the same thing is gonna apply to Angeo, where he basically just like taught Zach how to fight. Uh, that that's my guess as to why they're partners. <clears throat> gonna be an interesting animation. All right, the BT. So this right here, my phone just turned off. <clears throat> Let's see here. This right here. Uh, inhibited Will, it releases a short-range physical brave attack plus a total HP attack. Ooh, this is a big list. Alright, so the following effect applies to himself. Max HP increase. The overhead, there is no upper limit to the value that can be accumulated. Oh, oh, that means that we can increase that value way higher. Oh, that means that that potential additional damage, if I am right on that, could be pretty big. When attacking HP, it is possible to exceed the upper limit of the HP damage given according to the value accumulated in a special effect. Uh, the following effect applies to all allies, which is the usual stuff. Brave damage up, brave damage cap up, HP damage up, and HP damage cap up. Ooh, that overhead can uh, potentially grant uh, Angeo a very good amount of uh, damage increase. And since it did say that it does apply to all allies, then uh, allies will be able to deal a, a, a poten or potentially deal a pretty big amount of damage. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Well, and Geo's kit so sounds interesting, but I want to wait on translations uh, until we get a pretty good idea as to uh, what was uh, mentioned during this OPOP video, because there were some things that is that that. That, that did confuse me a little bit, but we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, next up, we have a Memorial Battle Support campaign, which starts on Halloween. Uh, so we have, it looks like we are going to be getting an increase in the daily tokens for the month of November. So uh, from 2 to 4, so we're going to get a, a, a total of 120. Uh, play every day in exchange for the, uh, for the Rainbow Sparkles and Four Stone Pieces. Ooh! Very nice. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, there's going to be a campaign banner. Uh, so it looks like the first one is going to be... Uh, uh, gosh darn it. Amaran. Uh, Yida and uh, Luna Freya. And then the following, it looks like it's going to be uh, Vice, uh, Zidane, and uh, Kais. Ooh, okay. So pretty good banner. It's not too shabby. Uh, let's see what we got. There will be sto four stone fragments and animation stamps will be available as awards for co-op at the end, held at the end of the month and during the month. Uh, it l let's see what else we got here. Uh, Memorial battle support missions are now available. You can now earn burst power medals and bonus medals by clearing Memorial battles and reaching your difficulty. Nice. Uh, wild points are now available as panel mission rewards at the end of the month. Crystal Quest free consumption gems for... Okay, so free... Uh, 
free uh what do you call it? you can, you can basically uh choose whatever quest that you want or like or you can reset it over and over and over for the uh, weekly crystal quest uh then we got the uh, the appearance of the magic pod and all that other good stuff uh special gem sales so on and so forth nice 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 so we got some goodies coming up. I will not complain about that. Very nice. Oh my god, that is adorable. Wait, Global doesn't have this, does no, Global doesn't have this. What does that say? Let me see if I can catch it. Oh, it's not translating for me, but that oh it says I'm hungry, Koopo. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I don't think Global has this. Global players, you guys can correct me, but I don't think Global has this. Nah, Global definitely has this. <laughs> don't hurt me! <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. Very, very nice. I like the fall one. The fall one is nice. Alright, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, they're talking about this right here. What is that badge? I don't think I've ever seen that badge before. What is that? So it's a memorial battle support mission. By clearing memorial battle and reaching your difficulties, you can earn burst power medals and bonus medals. Oh, that must be new. It, it, it it's either new or I just don't remember it. What's it says on the bottom? Let's see here. So bonus medals can be exchanged for your favorite items from the lineup uh, at the bonus medal exchange office. Will be set during the period. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait and see uh, for that. All right. Next up on November the seventh, we have the part two for chapter eight, Act Four. So who is it gonna be? Hey, Agrius is getting her F four and her B T. Nice. Very very nice. <laughs> Ooh, back to back for tactics fans. Let's go. All right, so the FR for Agrius. So this is called, if my phone wants to work with me, Noble Oath. So it fires a melee based brave attack plus a full HP attack to all targets and inflicts the debilitating effect paralysis on all enemies. The following effect applies to all allies. For enemies with the debilitating effects, including incapacitating effects, HP damage bonus. Okay, so be paralyzed, or just a cannot act debuff needs to be active. Uh, and then uh, let's see here. Uh, HP damage bonus increase whenever the order of the action passes with a strengthening effect or sp or special. Eff okay, so it sounds like it's either going to be an. Uh, the second one is either going to be. Having a an overhead or a strengthening effect, which I'm guessing might be a uh, a, a a leveled buff, uh, or, or either one of the two. So it's gonna be either one of the two or one. Yeah, it's gonna be either that one or that one or or, or just both. So and then it looks like while it is active, uh, let's see here. Okay, no, it doesn't say anything. Uh, so yeah, so basically, cannot act debuff needs to be active, and then a um. Uh, what do you call it? An overhead or a special or a leveled buff? I I pres I assume uh, is going to be for the second condition. So who is uh, Agus's uh, FR partner? And it is ooh Beatrix. Nice. <clears throat> All right, very nice. All right, so the BT that blade looks awesome. All right, so unwavering trust. It fires a melee brave attack plus a full HP attack to all targets. The following effect applies to all allies. When attack when an attack command is selecting against an enemy with a cannot act uh, effect, an additional attack dream wave is activated. Oh. Cool. So it sounds like it's a follow-up whenever anybody whenever anybody on the team attacks. Uh, an enemy with a cannot act debuff. Oh, so Agris is getting a follow-up. Cool. Uh, and then the normal stuff, which is a uh, brave damage up, brave damage cap up, HP damage up, and HP damage cap up. Mm. Nice. So she's getting a follow-up. Does the uh, is it, are they gonna let us know? Yes, it will. Okay, cool. So uh, the follow-up attack. So the HP damage is equal to 1% of the enemy's max HP. HP damage variation effect is not effective. 
Oh. <laughs> if that scales with the FR, that might be a fat follow-up. Depending on like the boss's uh, max HP. But actually, no, I might I might be exaggerating because it's only 1% of the max HP, but depending on the fight you're, that you're going up against, like let's say if uh, if this is Memorial Battle, then we'll, we could potentially see something big. But any like regular like Reshinryu fight, we may not see anything crazy. It, but again, it just depends on the boss's uh, HP. But I mean, hey, if that scales as well, that's even better. Uh, it also increases the brave of all, of all allies by an amount proportional to the total HP damage inflicted. Extends the remaining period of the debilitating... Wow. Wow. It extends the remaining period of the debilitating effect applied by Agrius uh, herself to the target by one action. Wow. Okay. This is a really good follow-up. Yeah, this is a really good follow-up. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so basically she extends her uh, her paralysis. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good follow-up. Wow, Agrius sounds really good. Okay. Let's see if they show anything else. I don't think they're going to be showing anything else. But uh, yeah, some very inter interesting things. Wow. Okay, so Angeo's kit sounds very interesting. Uh, again, I want to wait for translations before, like, I actually, like, like get a general, like, good idea as to how his kit works. And uh, Agrius, like, her BT effect sounds really, really nice. Uh, especially if she's able to extend uh, the, the, the paralysis effect that she inflicts. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a really good follow-up. I, ha I have a pretty good feeling. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Again, uh, expect the uh, translation video to be out in the next couple of hours. I am probably going to go to bed after this uh, just because I know translation is going to take a good minute. So uh, stay tuned. I will try to get that video up before I head out to work tomorrow morning. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.